Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at this model. I would just like to say though that this channel will not only be model orientated, but we'll also be doing some other stuff such as photography, longboarding, and a few other stuff. Today we are going to be unboxing this 124 scale J Japanese Navy Zero Fighter. I know, it's a mouthful. This is an awesome model it's very aesthetically pleasing as you can see and i'm very excited to build this a little bit of backstory this was actually my dad's old model um it's been in his garage for about 40 years now um anyway i'm very excited i hope you guys are just as excited if you like the video don't forget to drop a like subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a video unboxing this Enjoy. model um i do hope you guys enjoy uh, so yeah, the box is a little bit not looking too good. It looks like it's seen better days, but that's all right. Everything else inside is in mint condition, brand new, never been opened. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna unbox this for you guys. So here's your instruction manual. Um, very nice, detailed instruction manual. I would just say, especially on the older models, just be careful because this um, paper is very thin and it's not really like strong strong but it'll hold up so just be careful when working with it don't turn the page too fast just you know do it slowly you know um, take your time with this kind of stuff you have to have a lot of patience when you do this kind of stuff but yeah the reward is awesome so yeah very detailed very very nice then you just have this obviously just to protect it that's boring though you guys don't care about that so it does come with two staples here i have removed them because i don't think you guys want to watch that because that's pretty boring so um, i'm gonna flap that back because that's just a waste of time so this is your main frame structure so if i can just show you guys on here this will be this part over here um and the other side as well so yeah that's just so you know what that is um I'll show you guys the other side as well. So there you go. Um, so you put these two together and it should look, start looking like an airplane. Then you have this front part that goes, so your propeller will go here. Um, I don't think you guys can see that very well, but yeah, that goes on the front of your plane. Then you have these see-through plastic bits. Um, that's so that you can put that on your glass for so that the pilot can see and that kind of stuff um, and just a few other little bits and bobs just so that you can add a little bit more detail uh, then we have these nice wheels which are nice and gummy and soft i mean these probably haven't been touched in such a long time maybe we'll soak them in a little bit of warm water just to soften them up just a little bit okay so then we get to this um this is just a little bit of detail and all that kind of stuff. Then you have a guy there, and there's the back of him there. Um, just extra little details and some other stuff. Uh, I think these are part of your wings, if I'm not mistaken. Um, not 100% sure on what those are for, but we will find out. Um, and yeah, these are just some extra little details just to make your plane look that much better. You have your wings. There are two sides to the wings, um, so I'm just going to take both of them out. Um, so there's your one wing. So they basically will rest on each other like that, if that makes sense. So this will more than likely be the bottom. I don't know if I'm right, and then they'll sit like that. So those will be your wings. So yeah, um, this is supposed to be attached together, but you know, this over here is supposed to be attached to this over here, but it isn't. That's not too big of a deal. The part is still okay, so if you do get a model like that, don't worry about it. It's not bad. It's not like your model is not going to be perfect. Um, it's just that the pieces have broken off, obviously, just either because they were maybe mishandled or they weren't um, put in the right spot. Um, but don't worry about it. Usually, it won't affect your parts. But you know, if you really have a big issue, I'm pretty sure you could sort it out pretty easily um so yeah this is obviously your propeller you have a few little missiles and bombs here um then just some i think this is for underneath if i'm not mistaken yeah it looks like it's for the underneath 
and you just got some extra little details just to obviously make your planes look better. Then you have some stickers um, over here, just some nice red red circles and other little numbers and stuff like that, just to make your plane look even better. And you got a few guns and stuff like that, um, just to make it really stand out and make it look that much more of a war machine. And then you obviously have a few little extra little bits for the wing and stuff like that, um, just to give it that extra length. Then you've got probably one of the coolest parts. I haven't seen this with many models, but it comes in a special box, obviously, you know, just because it's that special. So you take this little, and there's all your pellet, your, your motors and stuff like that, just for the front of the plane, um, so that you know how to put it all together. And this is pretty much just for the front of the plane. So yeah, as you can see, a lot of work and time goes into not only making these, but also making all the parts for them so that people can assemble them. So, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, I am going to be posting another video of me building it. So, yeah. If you guys want to see that, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.